Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you why I use professional photography. We're at Zets and Master Builders show home in Creekview, and I'm here with Alicia from Camera Crowd Media, who I use for all of my real estate photos. We're just going to be doing a bit of a photo battle, and I'm going to be showing you why realtors should be using professional photography instead of just their cell phones. Today we're going to be doing a set of three shots each. One in the kitchen, one in the living room, and one in the master bedroom. We chose these rooms because they're the focal points of the house. I'll be taking the photos on my cell phone and Ali will be doing them with her camera and then we'll meet afterwards and compare how they look. Um, the photos we took on our cell phones. I have obviously the professional photography and he has the cell phone photos And we're just gonna chat a little bit about each room and what we notice about the different photos So we'll start with you. What do you think about the photos you took? So the photo I have it's good cell phone cameras have come a long way But the first thing we notice is that the colors really off like it's a very white and bright kitchen and in this photo, it turned out very yellow and a pretty dark, actually, too. So, yeah. And the wider angle with my camera really did help show actually how big the space is. Like, right. we can see the entrance here For and sure. some doorways. And the perspective, his looks like we're looking down on the kitchen. And with mine, it looks like we're looking straight on. Straight on so the kitchen. So it's a different perspective, too. For sure. For the next one, we have the living room shot. And first thing I noticed about yours is you got the ledge of the wall in there. I did, I did. <laughs> so that's like, I have this one. It's not as in much. there as much. But that's one thing with professional photography is they know the angles to take, not just um, taking random photos with your cell phone. Like I went in and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna try and get as much as I can and that's one thing we were talking before of the wider angle lens something yeah, I she can has. see a little bit of even the dining room in this one you right. might not know what it is because you can't see the table or anything but you know that there's something over there maybe a door to the deck uh, again the perspective right. is different and perspective and again the lighting like it's, it's so just much it's brighter. such a bright house that like your pictures actually show it as you see it in person whereas in these pictures it's so much darker yeah and even one thing I've noticed is the fireplace in yours. With professional photography, you're able to add the fireplaces, you're able to add TVs, so it looks like that's yeah. the home's lived in, it's active, not just a blank candid shot. Also, big thank you to Zetson Master Builders. They allowed us to come into their show home today and film our video. So we really appreciate that. Thank you again, and back to the video. <laughs> the bedroom shot. Um, this one, we kind of wanted to use what the previous photographer did for the listing photo because it was just overall a good angle. I just had a different take on it. I did what I would do, and then he did what he would do as a realtor. So he just walked in, said, you know what, I like the view. I'm just gonna try to get the view in this shot. Right. And he ended up getting the doorway. <laughs> the door, yeah. Which, I mean, does work. You see the double doors, but again, I think if you were to do an actual listing shoot, you would do another picture you, you from that family room that shows the double door. Double door, or from the other side of the bedroom right. that shows it as well. But as well, the first thing I noticed with the bedroom is your picture, again, that wider angle lens, having that, you like, your bedroom looks closer to the actual size, whereas in my picture, it looks very small, and the bed itself looks pretty small, and I think that was a queen size bed. Yeah. when we were there and it just shows like how big that room is whereas in my yeah. picture you don't see that yeah and it's very dark again because it was trying to expose for the window just to get that view in there yeah and so camera phones <laughs> try to expose for everything at once so they do their best to take down the highlights and side to get outside and in this shot specifically it just didn't really do a good job not really no, I think this is probably the worst one. <laughs> probably. This one was pretty rough. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, but I like it Did you still, take so. more of this one? Or did um, I, did two of, I did two of every room just okay. to see what I could do for better, but they, they aren't as good <laughs> <laughs> at all. Okay, so Perfect. definitely one there on that one. Yeah. So outside shot. These mm -hmm. ones, in my opinion, are very similar. Like if I was a client and you took a picture of my house and gave me what he took on his phone, I would be okay with that. 
Uh, the only thing I really notice again is perspective. Perspective. And like I could have shot more to the left and got more of the doorway, walkway. Right. And yeah, like and yeah, they look again the lighting, similar. like because again, like you were saying before, my, the cell phone camera has to adjust so much to try and get all the lighting in, whereas you're able to do that all. Yeah. With your camera. Yeah. So it shows it just less dingy. Yeah, and honestly, like I wouldn't be upset if I got that photo back. The only yeah. thing, like I said, is just perspective, angle, and that's just up to whoever's taking the photo, like what they really want. So. I mean, if you're a realtor and you like that one more, don't be afraid to be like, hey, photographer, I want the house from this angle. Like, that's sure. totally fine. And that's one thing with professional photography using it that's great, at least with her here, is we're able to like work off each other and say like, hey, I really think this angle would be good. I think that, and they also have a lot of expertise. So in some of the photos I took where you see like the corner of the wall, stuff like that in the living room, she knows to avoid that. So yeah, yeah. But those are the photos we took. I think they both, will do their job if a realtor needs to use their cell phone but at the end of the day if you could actually get the photos done it just takes your listing from here to here really Next fast like thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and when you're looking to list your property make sure to ask your realtor if they're using professional photography